Hello students, how are you? I hope you will be doing very well for your incoming exam, uh, Physics 9702, Paper 1, which is MCQ's based paper. I'm Ayaz Ahmed, uh, a physics teacher in A-levels. I have been working in this field since 2003. So I want to explain and share my ideas about your physics paper, which is uh, coming ahead. It is MCQ's paper. MCQ based paper is really a tough paper in physics in A levels generally, but especially in physics. That's why I plan to explain and share my ideas with you people, what I have learned or what I have experienced throughout this career. So today we will discuss about the tips and tricks about your MCQs paper. In my next video, I will basically further enhance this at extended level. This is generally a block division based techniques what I will share with you. So starting with this discussion, first of all, you should know that your paper is basically consisting of four, 40 MCQs. And 40 MCQs are supposed to be solved or answered in 75 minutes, basically, which is one hour and 15 minutes. So when you have this short time, one hour and 15 minutes, I divided this. It appears at 112.5 seconds for one MCQ. It's a short time calculations. When we think that, oh, I have a lot of time. I can calculate or I can solve these 40 MCQs with in one hour and 15 minutes, but it's wrong. Whenever you are going to work, you have to plan at very basic level at root level. And that is what I have shared this calculation with you that you have 112 seconds for one MCQ. In this time, you have to read the question. You have to recall the concept about that. You have to use your calculator if it is calculation based. And then you have to figure out all the options which are available over there. So it's really rush hour game. So you have to be very precise, very accurate and very trained. So when I say that we have to apply some techniques. So the most important technique what I will share with you people is round trip technique in a round trip technique. When you are going to solve the questions in a sequence, there are there are there is a blend of MCQs which are basically hard one, easy ones, uh, then um, uh, grade deciders and so on. So you are not supposed to start from question number one and end up at question number forty. No, this technique is very wrong and very inappropriate. So I will suggest you people that please go through the rounds. Rounds mean go through the questions and those questions which you find easy are the questions which you can attempt within very short time. I mean, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, go through those questions first, attempt all those, leave rest of the questions. And when you are going to leave rest of the questions, once you complete one round, then come back. Then for second get difficulty level, difficulty level number two, then three, then four and so on. So this is one of the technique which will help you out to manage your time as well. Secondly, this time division is based on the MCQs type. There are four types of MCQs which are basically asked to you. Those four types of MCQs are, first of all, you have memory based questions. Memory recall questions are basically some definitions, some equations, some uh, basic ideas some unit based concepts, for example, which unit is correct for energy, which of the following SI based units are the SI based units of Joule and so on. So these are not those much tricky questions. These are not those much time taking questions. So attempt these questions at your priority level one. Then the next category is information handling question. Information handling questions are basically those questions which are called numeric questions. They have some calculations. They have some uh, 
linked ideas one topic is linked with the other one for example you are having a question of momentum but that momentum question is not entirely based on the momentum it will consist of some concept of kinematics some concept of equations of motion and all that stuff so this is the second category of the questions they will take your more time than category number one i mean memory recall questions so you have to be very careful that these questions are basically your time taking they will take your time from 50 to 75 seconds each question uh, there is another difficult uh, status of these questions as well i will explain that at the end now the third type of questions are knowledge with understanding knowledge with understanding means you are having some idea related to your topic let's say i'm talking about kirchhoff's law you have the knowledge of kirchhoff's law but in that circuit you have to apply it you have the concept of diffraction rating you have the concept of interference but you have to apply that concept in that specific question whether you have to find maximum number of fringes over there you have to find out the maximum order of maxima or whatever so this is what you have the knowledge but you have to apply the knowledge with your complete understanding they will take your time and the time estimatedly taken by those mcqs is almost 60 to 80 or 60 to 90 minutes 90 seconds then there is the fourth type of questions that is critical analysis if you have gone through this past paper practice you have seen that there are several questions which are which do not have any difficult calculations but those calculations are very critical they are, need some pop up ideas from your mind and those type of questions are basically uh, they appears in terms of which statement is correct which is not correct they all are descriptive type questions description is given to you you have to analyze the concept from your background knowledge your information and all the grip you have on that topic so they are also very difficult questions usually they take your time because their options are very closer to each other so when the options are very closer to each other please try to eliminate those options for which you are deadly sure that these all these options are not of use for example you have to find out the correct one then you are sure that this this is option a c and d they are incorrect so eliminate them and then you will reach to the correct idea it is one of the techniques it is called elimination technique but mostly it works very well then i have divided your complete syllabus into four blocks this is tremendous classification if you remember and i believe that every teacher should tell this to the students when they are going to prepare for the past paper when they are going to practice the past paper when they are basically striving for the grades and that is your syllabus is divided into four blocks first block is the most significant block of your physics that is your general physics from general physics there are seven eight chapters in that basically i have a plan to share a next video with you people uh, which would classify that which topics contributes how much in general physics and similarly in other topics as well in other blocks as well so i will explain each and everything within these two three days inshallah in in the series of these videos but if this will not be remembered by you if you people will not follow that religiously it will not help you out so the second block is your waves and superposition in waves and superpositions mostly there are three chapters and then in current and electricity there are three topics almost and then particle physics there are two topics so i will explain or i'm going to share all the details from these blocks that which block contributes how much now as i told you the general block is the most significant area of your physics that is it consists of 19 to 20 mcqs out of 40 remember this 19 to 20 mcqs it means it is the basically 50 percent of your syllabus remember this thing 50 percent it means that when you are gripped in 50 percent 
it's quite easy to have this strong foundation and then you have to improve your grade so usually as my survey 19 to 20 mcqs are being asked and its uh, variation is from 47.5 percent to 50 percent so in most of the papers there are 19 mcqs to 20 mcqs so roughly you have to make a mind that you would be tested for 50 percent from your general physics so now it's your choice what you want whether you have to leave it or grip it the next one is the waves and superposition mostly from your question number 20 to 30 this is the range where your uh, waves and superpositions are asked these questions are from three chapters as i told you and they are from 10 to 11 mcqs overall so from 10 to 11 mcqs its weightage is 27.5 percent to 25 percent so roughly roughly calculate that you have 25 percent weightage from this area so it's a very authentic technique that 25 percent is obtained from three topics so strive for this practice these all areas and then you will be able to secure your grades then the third area which is current and electricity that is basically third man block of your physics paper one it consists of seven to eight mcqs from 31 probably to 37 or 38 these are the mcqs from your current and electricity now it is 17.5 percent to 20 percent remember this thing that 20 percent mcqs are coming from this current and electricity which is a horrible percentage as well because this is a very tough area most of the students are having problem in this one they are trapped in the mcqs of current and electricity they are difficult so that's the reason that your analysis are regardless of the plan when you are going to make a blind attempt you will waste the time so if you are good in waves and superposition along with the general physics try those 25 percentage attempt that 45 25 percent and save the time from this one and the last block that is your particle physics it's the most uh, insignificant part of physics in for mcqs paper one it consists of two to three mcqs probably which is weightage not more than 7.5 percent it means if three mcqs will appear it's 7.5 percent weightage is there and then five percent of uh, overall so now i can give you a overall view that if you are not good in your general physics attempt the remaining 50 percent from your waves and superposition current electricity and your particle physics so these two three topics entirely they will give you 50 percent so if you are attempting 50 percent of your paper it means you are having very good grades if you have gripped it then uh, finally i will request you all that to have the awareness related to your papers and to have in time advices and in time uh, ideas please subscribe this channel this is your aq physics solutions and for any help or any detail you can contact me at whatsapp which is uh, mentioned in my video it is open for all so i hope that it will help you out uh, soon i will uh, release a series of videos which would help you out to attempt different types of uh, questions which i have segregated that there are memory recall then they are uh, information handling and then those mcqs of different classifications thank you so much for watching this video and wait for the next